Hello everybody and welcome to Roguelike Roulette. Uh, for those of you that don't know what this series is, I do have a video explaining it and the two previous videos that came out on Friday and Saturday, but for those of you that are just watching the Dead Cells series, I'll go over it again briefly. Basically, Roguelike Roulette is a series where on Friday, Saturday and Sundays, I play new roguelikes um, that I've either not played on my channel before or I've had like new content and I'm revisiting. And we're playing them for a few weeks and I'll let you guys, either in the Discord or on YouTube, vote for one of the games to be switched out with another when new ones release or we want to switch out to something like like Slay the Spire with the new character, things like that. But right now we've got Dungreed, Wizard of Legend, and the Dead Cells Bad Seed DLC in rotation. And today we're going to be playing Dead Cells. I have already done a little series on my channel on this game, so I'm going to be playing with that save file again. Uh, but yes, with the release of this new DLC, I wanted to get back into it. So away we go. We're going to be continuing on normal mode here. I don't exactly know how to get into the Bad Seeds content. Um, I'm not 100% sure where it resides within the game. I'm not sure if we have to take an alternative path. Or if it's one of those sort of things, we get our dead man's bag. Our one. And residual cells, we get 40 cells. Um, so, let's have a little look-see. So, these are all my items I've got unlocked here. So, we'll have a little look around here, shall we? Let's open this up. See if I can remember how to play. Um, we'll take both of these. There you go. So, this is just the, the daily challenge door. It's going to take me a while to get back into. We've got this area here, which I think isn't part of it. We've got root grenades already. Okay, so we'll start with a normal run here and uh, see if we can get something going on. I am going to be awful, awful, awful at this game for now because I can't remember how to play it. How do I dodge roll again? No. What is it to dodge roll? Sir. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's been a really long time since I've played this game. Love this game. I think it's great. But yeah, it has been a long while since I've played it. Oh god, I'm awful at it. Oh god, I'm awful at it. <laughs> Let's just take a little look. What we got going on? We got um, enemies emit a poison toxic cloud when they die. We got 20% extra damage and uh, we got burning damage. We have inflict a critical and you have less than 50% HP or more than 50% malice. Okay, that's, that could be pretty good. Especially if we're taking a lot of damage, which we probably will be. The poison seems pretty useful as well. Take a scroll of power. Uh, right now we're playing with this. So both of these are purple. So we'll go purple. Very nice. And we've got a secret there as well. Lovely. But yes, I have no idea where the bad seed content even resides. I'm sure we'll find out as we play. I do have quite a lot unlocked in this save file. I have beaten the game a good few times as well. Right, wait till this guy goes over us. There we go. Easy kill on that guy. Okay, I'm, 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 I'm getting it now. We've got a bit of pastry there. I think we can get through that. Yes, we can. Oh, we have the little heart seeker things. Oh, God, we're finding so many secrets right now. Okay, we can get up here and go for this swarm. Um, do you know what? Actually, we can take it with this, can't we? So we can have both. I've not really been using either of those. That could be kind of useful. Make sure we get that gold as well. But yeah, so far, so awful. There you go, got him. Got you. And I'm getting the hang of it again. I'm I'm relearning what's going on here. Got us off the shop. Um, getting the, the bow that marks enemies could be really nice. Uh, getting the heavy crossbow could be good. But I think, honestly, I'm just going to stick with my gold and use it for upgrading what we've already got. So what we already got is pretty good, and we'll probably end up finding some better stuff in chests and things around the way. For now, I think we're absolutely fine. But yeah, I I'm wondering if it's maybe another door we can take. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go with that again. We have the whip. Yeah, let's go for that. 50% um, damage while you're at max HP. Let's, let's take that over that. The heavy crossbow. I don't know, actually. The heavy crossbow's pretty good. Ah, we'll take it. We'll take it. Oh, we can sell that as well, can't we? Oh, no, we can't because we started with it. I am a foolish boy. It has been a long time since I played this, so please bear with me, those of you that remember my series or play the game a lot, because it is going to be probably quite a bit more painful than it was <laughs> the first time you watched me play this. Okay, so that's a really good combo, actually, throwing those two together. I should go up here and get that gold. Oh, damn, that was bad. Them little biters are lovely. Yeah. 
They are doing great, great work. Thank you, little biters. We get even more of them. We've got another secret here. Wow, I'm finding so many secrets right now. More HP. This is getting the extra HP right now is, is very valuable considering how badly I'm playing. The biters, there's so many of them. I wonder how many I can have in total. So right now I've got a lot. Okay, we've got a fire grenade there. I don't really want that to be honest. I think I think our stuff we've got right now is pretty good. So we can go to the promenade there. I kind of want to make my way around and see what else we've got. I don't want to commit straight away. Because um, we've got another area over here. Look. Okay, this is our chest. So we got Wave of Denial. Repels all enemies. Um, if enemies throw against walls, they take extra damage. <sighs> I... I don't think we want that either. We can sell it though. We can definitely recycle it. There you go. Get a little bit of extra money for along the way. And go up this way. Yeah, let's let's head let's head in here, see if we can find anything. I may well not end up finding the, the new content this first time around, but surely we'll find like new weapons and stuff. And those of you that are experienced or have played much of this mod, you'll be able to tell me what's going on. Oh, a new arrival. And the rats haven't got to him yet. I bet there's still some stuff to scavenge. Uh, just a rusty key. A torn up letter. Royal Gardener, with all the respect that I owe you, obey your orders or you'll find yourself in the stomach of one of those ticks. For all our sakes, this is your last warning. Signed, Commander Casting. Uh, nothing interesting at all. Except this jacket. This is definitely new content right here. So we now have this. Yeah, this is... This is... Okay. Oh, okay. So we've got to jump. Oh, I do not understand how to use these at all. <laughs> Literally get hit by every single one of them. Okay, so this is like... Is this replaced the sewers or is it just like sometimes it appears instead of the sewers? I'm, I'm not sure. We did not mean to do that there. I meant to roll. I might have to rebind some controls here. The dilapidated abrarium. Okay, we're on to the bad seed content already. So unfortunately, we're not getting into either of those doors. No way know how. Um, we have a few things we can go for here. We have Velocity, which we might as well just spec into there. We have one to go on gold reserves, so I guess we'll take that. We have Barnacle, shooting enemies who pass beneath it. Um, we, we have the Spartan Sandals, which you never want to buy, apparently, so I'm going to leave those. We have a lot of stuff here. Wow. A Hand of the Gardener, um, Royal Gardener, sorry, is pretty cool. We probably won't go for that yet. There's more important things right now. Um, is there any, any new items we can get straight off the bat? The tentacle. I don't know what's new and what's not, so it's going to be difficult for me to know. Um, the tentacle sounds kind of cool, though. Let's just go all the way into that, then we can be able to fully spec into that next time around. Right, now we can start reforging stuff. Um, so, unfortunately, all of this is low level, so maybe we don't want to reforge it yet. Uh, right, let's go with what do we want to take straight off the bat. Increase your HP by 2%. You can only be infected by malice every 1.2 seconds. Uh, so we probably want to be going for something purple here. Um, decrease your skills with the enemy killed without using a melee attack. Your first strike inflicts extra damage. Kill enemy with a melee strike makes you invisible. Uh, your next melee attack after using a skill does extra damage. Um, maybe not actually. Running speed duration bonus for killing combos multiplied by three. That sounds really good. Um, let's go with necromancy to start with. I really like necromancy. Basically, when we when we hurt enemies, we get a little bit of healing back. I can't remember if it's when we hurt or when we kill. Either way, it's very useful. But here we are in the new area. I'm very very hyped up for this. This this looks awesome already. Oh my god, it's got new enemies. Big boys. I'm sure we'll figure out what some of these do eventually. Look, it's the cute little mushroom guy. Oh my god, he is he is off. He is beaming it. Okay. So we do have some of the regular enemies in here as well. But we do have some of the new enemies too. I'm liking that. I'm going for my biters as well. Okay, so them little guys seem to just beam at you if you're not careful. 
Oh my god, you shot a baby at me. I would ask you to not, please. Oh my god. That's so cool. They like combo at you. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to open this, I don't think. One boss cell required. Oh my god, I fell into a pit there. <laughs> There's a lot going on. Okay. Locking it into play seems very, very useful. And our infection thing, whatever it's called, um, necromancy for really helping us out. Got an elite here. Wow. Unfortunately, we don't have our stun. Oh my god. That did a hell of a lot of damage. Oh, we're gonna die. We're gonna die. That plant just almost ate me as well. Okay, good. Okay, then. Oh, ho, ho, ho. No way. I did not realize I'd take damage by hitting the spikes. At least we know how to get there now. We might be able to get some better starting stuff. Getting back into the game is going to be a bit difficult for me. This game is pretty brutal. Um, we did get a lot of gold to start with there, though, which is very, very nice. Yeah, at least we know how to get there. With that, with Flint, poisons the enemy. Cannot interrupt attacks. That's very nice. And infantry bow. Inflicts critical crush range. Shot pierce. I always go with a bow because I just really don't like using the other thing. We've also got that... Um, Hand of the God, or whatever it's called, next to us, which we might want to use. Ooh, we've got the broadsword level 2 already. Um, that seems tempting to, to me. Uh, I don't know, though. The flint's going to do a lot of damage. Let's just let's just recycle that for now and try and stick with the flint. I do like the flint. I tend not to use its power attack, which is that. I tend to just use its normal attack because it's pretty strong. As you can see. And we'll probably go for red this time around here. And we can use our bow at close range to inflict crits, which is really nice. There you go. The, the crits it inflicts are so nice. Just get literally proper rub your face against enemies and crit them. Still don't really know how to use either of those, so I'm not going to bother messing with them. Also, you can do this, which is weird. If you if you hit and jump, you can like rise yourself into the sky with this thing. Boom. Bit of pastry, you can't use that right now, but Boom. That did not take him out. I thought that would. As long as we like literally face rub with enemies, we should be able to kill them relatively easily. Because 117 crit is really nice, especially when there's multiple enemies lined up like that. Also, stunning through doors. Very, very powerful in this game. But as you can see, the damage we're dealing right now is pretty, pretty nuts. We're able to kill enemies with, with ease. Definitely with ease. And we're definitely doing a lot better than we were last time, so... I commend myself for that at least. Anything we want down there? Good, good, good. Go around there. I think there'll be an item in here, maybe. Oh, there's the toxic sewers. Okay, so we can go to the sewers still. It's just a bit of a, a change route to get to the sewers. We have a blood sword, which I don't want either. We'll recycle that. And we can go up here. And I think if we go up here and around, then that's how we're going to make our way to the royal gardens, as I'm going to call them. That isn't that that little stone there is an ability I've unlocked. Wait, what? We just got oh, we just got the 30 times enemies without being hit. Nice one. We just basically got ourselves a bunch of extra cells and a new weapon and everything. That's really nice. A higher level weapon's gonna help us out a lot. Bit of extra pastry that we don't need. We haven't found any upgrades so far though, which I'm a little worried about. We could definitely suffer the consequences of that. Hey you there. Oh, it's, it's, it's you. Ha ha ha. Damn, they didn't mess around. No answer. Okay, that was strange. 
So I'm assuming up this way and to the left is going to be how we find our way to the to the royal garden. There you go. Okay, so that's 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 nice. Kind of the same way as the toxic sewer. I do want to venture this floor a little more, spend a little bit more time here, just because we want to get some upgrades going before we move along. And we're already past the two-minute mark, so we're not going to get any extras via that way. As you can see, this is crazy. Also, new item, ice shield. I don't tend to use shields that much, but new unlocks are always great. Okay, so we found our shop. A Vorpen, Lightning Ball, or Nutcracker. All of those are relatively useless for me right now. I think our setup's way more powerful than that. We do have ourselves a powerful grenade, which I'll take. Very, very nice. It's going to be a little bit of extra damage, and I will indeed pay for that too. So, let's go for... Yeah, let's just go for more damage and more HP. And we found ourselves the prisoner's escape. So we got an extra upgrade and we got ourselves an extra item. That item might end up being replaced pretty quickly here. But either way, I'm, I'm relatively happy with that result. Let's make our way through and see if we can spend ourselves some cells. We should be able to unlock that tentacle. Which, if you didn't know, when you unlock something in this game, it automatically gives it to you. But yeah, we unlocked that door basically because we made it through that entire floor without taking damage and killing 30 enemies. We got a pretty good little bit of extra there. So we've got the quick bow, which I'm not that bothered about. We've got um, sapphire amulet, which could be useful, although it isn't particularly great. And we have a stun grenade, which victims burn when they die, arrow stuck enemies come back. Um... I'll try out the stun grenade. Stun grenade could be pretty useful. Slap. I can I can see how that could be useful. And we'll go over here. And so we've got this ice shield. Parrying an attack freezes nearby enemies. Reflecting projectiles freeze enemies they hit. Okay, that seems really good. Um, tra trap damage is capped at 10% of your max HP. While when hitting a trap, your movement speed is increased by 20%. Okay, that's kind of good for safety, but. Not the best. Pyrotechnics. Ranged weapon attack. Launches multiple flame projectiles. Inflicts critical damage on targets covered in oil. Ice shards. Okay. So we'll go with the tentacle now. And then I think I think we'll put the rest of our points into... Um, I don't know what this is. Hunter's mirror. Unlocks a mirror near the scribe that may come in handy during your hunt. I guess we'll put some points into that. I don't exactly know what that does, but... We'll try it out. Right, so we're going to be trading a tentacle for one of these. Um, it does a little less damage than this, and it doesn't inflict poison, but we're going to get higher crits. Ignore shields and projects you towards the enemy and inflict critical hits if you attack again while bumped. I don't know exactly how that works, but I'm willing to give this a go. This could be really good. Um, and we can reforge it and upgrade it, which I'm actually pretty tempted to do here. So let's reforge it. 25% damage against tons that stunned targets and extra damage against poison targets. So this is always going to stun a target, which is really nice. So we should definitely stick with that. But then let's also upgrade it and try and get it to poison too. That'd be really good. Um, if you get it to poison as well, that'd be awesome. Stun duration plus 50%. That's really good. Um, try and get this to poison maybe. Shoots a volley of arrows. Okay, we'll stick with that for now. Maybe we can reforge this into poison. Damn, unfortunately not. We could maybe go back and take our other item that already poisons, but I'm thinking that's probably not the best idea. And with this, increase your HP by 3%. Um, melee attacks slow down enemies. They won't be able to inflict you with for one second. Reduces cooldown your skills. I'm going to go with the killer instincts. Try and get some crazy crazy craziness going on with uh, the stun grenade because we're getting 25% extra damage it would be really nice if we could get it to poison as well uh, but with the extra stun duration already I think this is pretty good we're going to go this way again so we're just only making sure to oh my god this is cool so oh that, that's strong so basically it seems that the, the way this works is when we hit an enemy it drags us towards them it seems kind of hard to use actually but at the same time, it's pretty wacky. Oh my god. Okay, so dodging these guys is definitely more difficult than a lot of enemies, but it's not impossible by any means. Oh my god, okay, don't do that. Don't do that. So this this thing seems weird. So stunning enemies like that is basically our best course of action right now. Okay, I'm 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 getting the hang of this. I'm getting the hang of this. Bit of pastry to heal us up there, lovely. Goes back to full HP. Right, 
head up back around this way. I'm really liking the architecture and like floor design as well. It's really nice. Oh, don't do that. Okay, our, our powerful grenade is probably not the best to use with stun because it immediately heals them. We probably want to be using stun separately as its own entity. Okay. Nice, I'm liking that. Okay, so we, we can actually smash through that and do a little bit of extra damage there. Okay, be careful doing that. So let's stun here. Oh, that seems really cool. Like, charging through them. If you can do that on multiple enemies. Oh, I stunned myself there. That's not good. Careful that plant. I don't know how this little liquid stuff works. Let's just do that. There you go. Nice. Get an amethyst there. Nice. Okay, this is kind of cool. And we've got some sort of weird room up here. Can we get through that gap there? Maybe. Oh, okay. We've got to do this. We've got to trick the plant and then bounce on it. I see. Excuse me, sir. 46 damage seems a little much for my liking. Okay, so we've got some sort of fountain here. I don't know if that's just decoration or if this is an indication of an elite. Ow. Wow, and we got a new item as well. Flashing fan. Very nice. Okay, we definitely want some healing next time around. Probably go with infection again as we did last time. Infection's really, really strong. Yeah, that's insane. I'm really loving these new enemies. They're really unique and cool without being ridiculously overpowered. So I was thinking maybe with this floor being so early on, it might be a bit overwhelming for newer players. It doesn't seem too bad, though. Like, I'm guessing this game sells as a bundle, this DLC now. Um, so I was, I was thinking maybe some of the less experienced players might find this troubling earlier on. But honestly, it seems pretty well balanced. Um, let's go with the 70% extra HP. And... Honestly, I'll go with that again, considering we've got so many things that are using green. Okay, so our health is definitely in a much better state right now. Money is is a bit of a problem there. We're not really going to be able to afford any of that. Don't know why this guy's got like an underground bit there. That's kind of strange. Don't mind. No worries, though. We can get around it. Oh, do not do that. I, I, I'm getting annoyed that enemies keep like laying in this... Um, Laying in this poison stuff or whatever it is because I keep missing them. Oh my god. We actually didn't take any damage there. We just knocked ourselves really far back. So we do have a, an ability there. I want to be trying to work my way up as high as I can when possible because it's obviously going to be new stuff about what we want to be seeing. There we go. The stun grenade is kind of unnecessary paired with the um, powerful grenade. I might even swap out the powerful grenade even though it is killing things in an instant. It's... It takes away that satisfying edge of, uh, of how our current build is working. We're, we're kind of missing out on some of the wombo combos of the stun grenade. Also, I think it's just because it's got that volley of arrows with it. That Okay. That seemed a bit strange. Okay, this guy, this guy's wailing on me. We'll go with Brutality here. Good, good. It's difficult making sure you explore everywhere. And the spikes on this floor are hidden as hell. I keep walking into them. So these are like ones that test that you have certain abilities unlocked. So you can't normally do that. So we've got the Prison Depths. Is that new? I think the Prison Depths is new. I don't recognize it. So is, is there anywhere else we want to go over here? So let's first of all go over here and see what see what this is down here. Because we missed out on this. So we got another stun grenade. Got to remember we do have our potion. Last time I just didn't use it at all. 
do not worry about that. I will I will try and remember. I know that all of you are going to be shouting at me because I didn't use it the first time around. But it's fine. Right. Let me just use this teleporter and see if there's anywhere else we want to go first. So maybe there's a way over this way we can get upstairs. If we come this way and go all the way to the left instead. Maybe there's an area around here we can get to. Look at that. Just insta-kills. Yeah, it seems there is an upstairs area we can get to here. Oh, we can go straight to the ramparts from here. Okay, that's nice. Um, I do want to make sure we take a good look around everywhere possible here. So let's go back over here. See if we can go this way. We can. Okay. I'm not sure if I like this tentacle. It's very, it's cool, but it's very hard to use correctly. Or at least seemingly it is. Like, it's, it's just quite slow to attack is all. Ow, I keep jumping into the spikes. So apparently I only want to be healing when I get like below 30% health, I think it is. Oh shit. Whoopsie. Look at this, I can't hit this guy. Heck you, buddy. That's pretty nice when you do that, though. That wombo combo. Hello. Um, you have a man in your shop? You have an enemy just chilling in your shop, sir? That's probably not what you intended. Yeah, I don't know why these shops have these little extra bits added onto them. I'm not sure what that's about. There's like an underground bit. I suppose it's for the teleporters, maybe? We definitely have more to explore around here. This seems like a definite smaller area. It's definitely intended that you go left here, but we've got some stuff to explore. I completely missed with that grenade there. Let's just stun him and have, have out with it. I think there was some enemies up here I missed. Yeah. It's just so funny that they're just like, Child, let me yote you. That was beautiful. Okay, I can see the I can see the combos coming in now with this thing. I can see them that they're they're coming to me. Right, what, what anything else over here? Doesn't look that way. There's definitely something below us. I can see a, a faint pixel on the mini-map of something below us. I don't know if that's a bug or if that's actually something below us. We found another one of these fountain rooms. I'm unsure what to think. Oh, that, the, that is one thing about the tentacle that's really nice. When you get like a real good combo going with a bunch of enemies, you just keep pulling and pulling and pulling. I'm really not sure how we're getting the crits. It did say in the description, but I didn't really understand what it was talking about. I'm a little lost on how to crit with this thing reliably. Whoa! Excuse me, small child. No, thank you. Okay, and now we've got the... Oh, we've got a legendary thing. Okay, so we get a legendary for doing this. Ow. Very, very bad play by me there. Excuse my awful play and loss of lots of health. But we just got ourselves a legendary, which I'm very happy about. Firebrands. Okay, so we'll take that. We'll take it over this. So that is decent DPS. Uh, colorless, so the highest, whatever a highest level, so six applies. Um, bite us crawl from the dead. That's great. Arrow shoot of 50% damage. We're probably going to reroll that a little bit simply because I don't particularly like the 50% damage at full health. Because, as you guys might um, might be able to get, I probably won't be at full health that much. Not that much at all. But it's nice to see there's a bunch of new areas to go to here. Um, I'll make my way... Actually, let's 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 climb back up. Cause I, I wanna. There's a few different areas I wanna go to here. There's like one over here that looks kind of interesting. That could have something about. So this is gonna be really good for just setting things on fire. Whoa! What the fuck? Not that guy did that. He's not done that before. 
Ow. The bite is crawl from the dead thing's really, really nice. Okay, so we've got another area which is required for us to jump. We've got a fire bomb. Yeah, I, I guess we go with a fire build. Let's try that out, shall we? I know that we put a lot of money into that grenade, getting a reroll on it, but it's fine. Right, so now we've got a few more places to go up here. So if we go up back this way, I'm just enjoying exploring right now. I'm enjoying getting back into this game as well. So we have a chest up here or something. We have a teleporter there. And we have the ability to trade out another ability, Rampart Shield or Light Speed Dash Forward. I don't really like either of those, so I'm just going to recycle. Best one. It seems we have something above us there. If you, if you have a look at the mini-map there, we've got something above us. Maybe that's something we can get to. Maybe not. I don't really... Oh, no, it doesn't look like it, actually. It just looks like the skybox. So let's go down to this new floor over here, shall we? Or at least from what I think is a new floor. Of course, jump in the spikes, because why not? The Morass of the Banished. Okay, I'm I'm spooked. I'm officially spooked. Finish off my drink there. Right, this is, this place looks awesome. Not gonna lie. So we did not get that by quite a landslide. Um, we got flashing fans, repel projectiles, and cause to inflict critical hits for eight seconds. Ooh, use the force, Luke. Luke's my actual name in real life. We've got to go for it. It's a call directly to me. Right, so... 100% damage to poison targets. Oh, okay, this is a weapon. I don't know how to feel about this. Hmm. I'll try it, I guess. Right, let's do some, do some reforging. So we definitely want to reforge this. There we go. I'm just damage to poison targets. Okay, we don't, we don't deal poison or stun damage here, so we're going to need to change this around somehow. Increase your movement speed five seconds after killing an enemy. I, li I like that. Okay. Okay, we kind of fucked it there, but it's fine. Right, let's go with... Necromancy. Take our heal. Don't forget the heal. Oh my god, I just almost destroyed my desk. I hope you can still hear me. I just accidentally pulled... Ah! Oh, everything's going wrong. I almost pulled my headset out and destroyed it. Um, luckily, I can still hear. And you guys can still hear me. Um, oh. Okay, so it still functions as a normal weapon. Um, repelling projectiles caused you inflict critical... Okay, this seems really good then. It was cheap though. 25 is pretty cheap. But here we are. The Morass of the Banished. This looks awesome. Whoa. They've put a lot and a lot and a lot of detail into this here. This is insane. Oh my god. What the hell's that thing? That's a big boy. That's a big boy. I'm shitting the bed on him as well. Just kill him with fire damage. There you go. Okay, that scared me a lot. That was one big boy. These are new. Wait, do we get biters from this thing? Yes, biters crawl from the dead. That's so good. I, 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 I think I did mention that before, but I forgot. So we've got some of the new boys and some boys just that, that are spawning from later floors earlier. This seems like a hard area. Definitely. We need to use our firebrands a bit more liberally here. Not in water though, that's not a good idea. Ow. Okay, we got lightning. Uh, I'm just going to recycle that. Nice little escape there. Ooh, this is definitely going to be difficult. 
The biters are really helping us out with these little guys. And the, the, as long as we can get these firebrands out relatively reliably, we can do good fire damage here. And then bigger enemies. I'm, I'm going to try and exclusively use it for bigger enemies, but our, our grenades and stuff we can use on bigger enemies there. So we can teleport over to there. So like this guy, he gets he gets the whole shebang. I just wish we had some synergy between our like poison damage that we got going on here. This is intense. They're really fast paced. These guys are tough. Certainly gonna be the longest video of the three from this week's uh, roguelike roulette. Certainly. But yeah, do let me know in the comments what you think about the series and what you think about me playing Dead Cells and all that sort of stuff. I'm, I'm really wanting to see what you guys think and I'm always appreciative of any comments. Right, we can take another scroll here. Um, I'm going to go with this because we've got so much things that are based entirely on red. You, you're a you're a bitch. Oh hello. They just spawn out of nowhere, don't they? They really don't give a damn. They really don't give a damn. Alright, might be able to get like Yeah, they literally fall out the ce the ceiling and they've got quite a lot of damage on them, these guys. I'm loving this cock. Like, even though, like, if we take a look, even though we've got um, not that much synergistic stuff, because, like, the the stun grenade doesn't really do anything for anything, apart from the victims freeze nearby enemies, which is nice. Um, and we've got the increased poison damage on our firebrand. So that doesn't really help. And we've got extra bleeding damage, but nothing we have inflicts bleeding damage. So we don't really have too much synergistic stuff going on, but I, I think it's still it's coming together. I mean, we could definitely make it better if we if we did get some synergy going on. That guy did a lot of damage. Oh god, this guy's this guy's tough. Do not let them guys hit you. That was bad. Oh, you can actually, you can see them in the roof. You can see their weapons. So when these guys are like laying dormant in the roof, you can actually see them. They're not completely invisible. We do have a stone here. Hey, a chest. This could be something to swap out. Double crossbow matic. Um, I think I think I want that instead of the fire grenade. And that's going to be a little more useful for us. So we can throw it out a little more reliably. So to say. And also it'll deal damage to... Much more enemies. Okay, them guys. Oh, God. Let's heal up, shall we? Yeah, them guys are them guys are tough. A stun grenade's definitely one of those weapons we want to be using for... Um, really shouldn't have placed that there. We're doing good damage, though, so it's okay. We need to be more on top of it. With certain things. Okay. I'm just go down from here. We don't need to teleport. There's not much point. Oh, hello. There's two more of you. Didn't think you guys would be joining the party so soon, but apparently so. Right, down we go. And then right this way. Seems like there's going to be an elite around here somewhere. That's just a lot of bodies. That's just a lot of bodies. Okay, it doesn't seem like there's anything here apart from horrid visuals <laughs> of, of lots of bodies. Good to know, I guess. We do have some guys here. Yeah, that seems really useful for us. Might want to re-roll some of its um, effects, but otherwise seems pretty damn good. 
Okay, we need to make our way all the way down this tower. Just keep jumping. Yeah, our firebrand is really good if we actually remember to use it. Which I very rarely do, of course. Look at that. Oh, these ninja guys are crazy. I didn't even realize how fast they move before. They got like little poison darts, maybe? I'm not exactly sure what they do. I did miss one of them down there, though. I think he made his way down and got beat up by our biters. Okay, so we made it out the other side. I'm guessing, yeah. I was just about to say I'm guessing we've got another one of these big boys. Okay, it seems that turrets and things like that are really, really good against these guys. Turrets and fire. Because it distracts them. And we've got a loot. We've got one of these two. We'll probably take um, green just for the extra healing. We're getting back up there in health as well. We're making our way back. Yeah, we cannot let them guys even get the chance to attack. Otherwise, that's really going to screw us up. Getting so many new uh, recipes, which I'm really grateful of. Excuse me, sir. Back away, please. I always forget these little things teleport after you, so you've got to be really careful with them. There we go. That's what we want to be doing with them. Stunning and getting all of our traps going. We can stun them to start. It's pretty much game over for them because we only have to put out like three, um, three big hits to kill them. That's not exactly a big ask for us. Considering we pretty much primarily hit big. Okay, that was bad though. We did take quite a bit of damage there. We got a spike shield. We've got ourselves our first shop in a while. Although that's not too useful for us. Head back down. As long as we're keeping our health topped up with um, our necromancy, I think we're absolutely fine. Is it called necromancy? I can never remember what it's called. It's fine. Okay, got the fire on these guys. Getting the fire on, it's not exactly that useful. Like, Firebrand isn't the best legendary to get, but it does definitely help out quite a lot. Like, just to get that initial damage on enemies. Most of the time, by the time they're actually, like, lit on fire enough, we've killed them. What we can do, though, with that is light them on fire, then bugger off. Rare smoke grenade. Okay, so we've got to destroy these crystals by the looks of it first. Definitely an annoying enemy. I'm going to heal up to full for this. Apparently, I can just do this. Oh, shit. I did not know that was the case. Okay, this could be bad. Okay, we got him. That was difficult. Uh, poison enemies that wound you. Damage from projectiles is reduced by a whole hell of a lot. Nice. Them guys got me quite a bit there. As you can see, they were getting like 1% HP back at a kill. Or near to, at least. It's like half a percent. Chaos chest found. I'm sorry, guy, but I'm not taking a chaos chest. Chaos chests basically give you a chaos that means for the next... Until you kill 10 enemies, or sometimes more, you will die in one hit. They're pretty brutal. So... Don't really think with enemies that I don't particularly understand very well, I want to be doing that. I just hit that guy with my tur turret. That is so strong. I, it's, it's annoying that the fire can't like drip down from walls. You can hit a wall above them and it drip down, that'd be super useful. Fortunately, that's not the way. Okay, actually, that was that was fine. That we'll take another red one, I think. Okay, so we've got another one of these big boys here. So let's do that. Get that ready. Oh, maybe not. Okay, I was expecting big boy. No big boy. I don't know why I keep destroying them. I don't really need to. It's just habit. Bad habit. Okay, take care of most of them. The bite is taking care of the little guys for us pretty easily here. Get that guy stunned. 
Okay, actually, we got me. We'll go for, uh... We'll go for green. Nice. A little bit of extra gold. We're making our way through. We're making our way through. I don't exactly know where the exit to this is. Ooh, an altar. Of course. Vaguely religious. These symbols seem to evoke holy maternal figure. There's a strange portion to costume one. Okay. Doesn't like anything to do there, but that does make our future a little murky, so to say. But we're onto the nest now. Don't know what to expect from this, but I'm assuming it's going to be some creepy crawly boss of some sort. Um, a lot of unlocks that time. Inflict crits if hit enemy from behind. That's kind of cool. We also got this. The second and third attack critical hits if you strike at the right time. Okay, so it's like a rhythm game. Um, smoke bomb release a crowd of smoke, making you visible. The first attack after inflicts extra damage. Mushroom boy. Monopendly mushroom boy, which charges and interrupts enemies and inflicts 86 damage and 170 hit. it hits a wall. Trigger it again to inflict and violate your soul. I want mushroom boy. He sounds cool. Right, we can reforge. This I'm actually really liking. The biters along with the extra speed is very nice. This isn't really working for us. So let's try and go for something better. I don't want 50% max damage while I'm fucking ill. The 50% damage while at full HP is so worthless. Hey, get extra movement speed. I'll stick with that. Cool. I'll go with it. Um, let's go with... Do you have any anything else that's going to be good for healing? Um... I don't actually know, you know. Uh, support, scheme, predator. Increase your maximum HP fun. No, that's not really that good. Let's just go with the slowdown. Slowdown's pretty useful. Take some extra healing. And this is probably a boss, I would assume. The nest seems definitely like a boss area. Yep, it's definitely a boss. This looks awesome, by the way. So let's first of all, let's... um. Just throw that guy down. Mama tick. Oh my god. He is his own fucking... That's so cool. So uh, how exactly do I attack this guy? So uh, I'm unsure how to damage this guy. Do I have to hit his arm? Oh no, I am damaging him. Okay, doesn't matter. I thought I wasn't damaging him at first. Oh my god. Oh, this is insane. Oh, that's so much damage as well. This is so cool. Oh my god. How exactly is the best way to hit this guy? Is it literally doing what I'm doing now? Okay, we've got back to the eye phase. Nope, he's just gone to the other side. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm doing alright, I'm doing alright. I've got pretty good stuff to be fair. This attack phase is crazy though. You've got, to be, you've got some super fast reactions to make sure you dodge all of these. Oh! And I don't have those fast reactions, I'm just getting lucky. Oh, 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 what the hell? What the fuck? Okay, gotta make sure to get healing done if we need to. We're at 58 now, so we're fine. We might actually be fine for good. This attack's crazy. This is so cool. What a unique boss fight. God damn. We got him. That's a really cool boss fight. And we got ourselves the new the new scythe, the new claw scythe. They they're they're part of their like a new part of this update. So I don't think we want any of these bows or grenades or anything. We just want the money and the souls and the new thing. Pretty happy with that. Cool. Make our way through. So no 15 minutes, no door. Um, put a bit of extra into you, I guess. Uh, 
So now we've got a 5% chance of plus plus quality. Um, we can do some reforging if we want to, although probably not for the best. Increase, we've got the increased movement speed on three different things. Is, does, does that mean we're going to get like ridiculous movement speed or does it not stack? If it stacks, I'm going to be well happy. That scythe sounds pretty cool. Um, we've already got all our mutations. I'm pretty happy with what we've got. We're we going down to the stilt village, or we can go up this way, I think. To the graveyard. Okay, we'll go to the graveyard. I, I'm, I'm not sure if the graveyard's new. It looks new, or at least I haven't been there before. So this is going to be a new experience for me, at least. Uh, it definitely is new with a new achievement. These are new enemies. Oh my god. Whoa, there's some cool-ass enemies right here. These guys know how to make unique enemy designs. They really do. Okay, so we want to be using our fire as much as possible here. Seems like it's going to be very, very imperative to us. Oh my god, there's so many of these things about. We want that money. Alright, this is going to be uh, a bit of a... I do apologise. This is going to be a bit of a longer episode than the last two have been, because we're getting real in, into the shit right now. Oh, look how fast we go. We should have got the triple speed thing. That would be insane. Really. Right into the spikes. Let's go in here. So it seems it's going to be the same as the previous, like, last level, where you've got to go and collect keys from a bunch of elites. Definitely seems harder, though. Definitely seems harder, but that's also because I'm fighting enemies I haven't seen before, so it's, it's of course, going to add an element of difficulty. Oh my god, there's so many of these things. At least we're getting a lot of healing from all these little small critters. All these little critters. Sorry, biters. As long as we can avoid getting too hurt by all this random stuff. Okay, so this wasn't actually a, a mini boss fight. I do want to see what's up there really quick. This is just the overworld, isn't it? Yeah. Oh wait, no, there is something back, back here. Enemies hit by this will thaw out more slowly. Honestly, I'm going to go with that over the, uh, over the stun grenade. The stun grenade seems good, but the ice bomb... I'm pretty sure it's a short cooldown, and I just know it's better. Like, from previous usages. Pretty happy with that. Okay, so we want to be going back out here. And I'm guessing the idea is we want to find as many of these as possible. So let's go back this way real quick. And there was a hole down here. There might be another one of those. We don't want to be missing out. We've got a secret here. That could be food. Unfortunately, it's not. Okay, so this is just another another bit of... Oh, there was a secret down there. Um, nah, okay, I'll skip it. I'll skip it. It, could, it might be food. It also might not. I'm just waste another two minutes of my life. And probably your guys' too. We'll keep on carrying on. Keep on keeping on. Okay, oh, this area looks awesome. That was so cool. Look at that. Look how much damage that fire does at a distance. We, we should be using that way more often. Okay, so that guy's a bit of a big boy. Okay. 63 health. 63% should I say. Okay, so that is super useful, that stun. Oh, and it recharges pretty quick too. Okay, so I'm probably going to heal until we drop below 50. Just to be safer around this area. Actually, we're already below 50. I don't know. We'll keep it. We'll, we'll be all right. We'll be all right. I'm pretty sure we can't get one shot at this point. So there you go. We'll, we'll definitely heal now. Up to 90. Very nice. Okay, he's like stopping us from, from setting him on fire for some reason. I don't know how he's doing that. That was bad. We do have wall climbing. I need to remember and utilize that. 
Okay, so this is definitely some horrible stuff. Look at that Grim Reaper in the background. Fucking hell, this is badass. Inspects. What a strange idea. Building a monument underground. An artifact, an artifact shaped hole, and a door. Not very subtle. So basically, we need to have this artifact to put into this. It's like a, it's like a key. As he says, not very subtle. You can probably find it pretty easily. Um, we've got a scroll of power down there. That I completely missed. Um, what's going to give us a good max HP here? Honestly, I'm going to go for more and more healing here. I know that we don't exactly have super high damage right now. But the healing is super important for us right now. I'm really enjoying the healing. Nothing much I want in there. Sorry, shop man. Keep on keeping on. I'm glad that my... At least some of my skill has retained from when I previously played this game. At least some. Not all. Oh, yes. Up to 67% health. As long as we're, like, getting healing every now and again, I'm pretty happy. I still don't know exactly how these guys work. They definitely don't set on fire anymore. So, let's wait for our abilities to off cooldown and then go in. Good. Okay, them guys are just going after my turret. You okay, guys? I'm over here, you know. That guy went invisible for a moment then, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if that was just my eyes. Maybe I just blinked. <laughs> I'm confused what blinking is. Okay, so them guys can, like, kind of shroud and cover their teammates. Gotta be careful of that. Another one of these. Let's go for more damage this time around. Yeah, that guy was definitely invisible for a, for a short while there. Maybe that's what these guys are doing. Maybe that's the case. Health isn't too bad right now. Where's this key at? Okay, we did find something over here. First of all, we'll use that. More green. Survival is key. Forgotten Sepula. We've been to the Forgotten Sepula before. I know that for a fact. I remember the name Forgotten Sepula. So that is not going to be a new area for us to go down. Okay, okay, okay. I did not see that. That was a good dodge. What? It hit me through the wall. Okay, we made it all, all the way over here. It's just a chest. Bully. Um... Well, let's let's just take that, then use it. Oh, that was the wrong thing. Balls. Whoopsie! I used my potion by accident. To be fair, we were, we were on the verge of of needing to use it anyways, so not a massive loss. But at the same time, probably could have done without accidentally using that so early. Got a nutcracker there that we might want to use. We've got this nutcracker up here. Um, I just want to sell that. I'm not really too bothered about having it. I've already got something pretty good that I'm in love with. Cast chest. Sorry, buddy. Not really on my to-do list right now. I just want to check what's this way. Okay, nothing. Um, right. So it looks like we're going all the way back up to the surface to find this key of whatever it is. I'm assuming it's going to be fairly obvious for us to find. Right, the amount of speed we're getting here is crazy. All these guys are chasing us. That was very nice. How are we getting in here exactly? Oh, okay. Good, good. No, no. Okay, this, that, that, that fucked me up. That is, you got me the hook attack. This, is, this just has treasure in it. We might as well go through it anyways. See if we get anything good. Okay, I didn't even have to really do any combat. And we actually got... Oh, I thought it was a legendary then. I was super hyped. 
Okay, got the frantic sword. Honestly, still really happy with what we've got going on right now. Reflecting projectiles and all that business is nice. Also, just using new items is fun. So. Didn't lose too much health there. Hopefully, hope of hopes, we'll find this thing soon. Okay, so we've got a well here. It's dark down there. Not that I'm scared. But I'm getting tired of diving into blackness and <laughs> groping about in the murk. Secret zone discovered. Okay, it doesn't seem to be anything particular down here. Apart from some gold, apparently. Oh, okay. We got we got something. Got light speed. Uh, don't want that though. Sorry. And there's another pile of corpse here. Just kick it. <laughs> Bleh. Kick the corpse. Requires architect's key. Okay. So we're maybe maybe we're stuck a little bit for progress now because I. I think we've been everywhere and we definitely haven't seen an architect's key. We can throw our head, but I can't remember how to do that. Is it like... No, it's not like that. Okay, it's like that. Okay. Let's just see if we can throw our head, like, all the way up here. No, we can't. I was maybe thinking we could, but we can't. Hmm. Okay, so we're a little bit stuck for progress now. Because we've got a key there. Unless, can we just jump up there? I don't think we can, but I just want to check. Did I, did I miss out on that? Oh, we can. Okay. Almost missed that out on that. Oh, but this door is locked. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Ow. Taking damage we don't have to. Good, good, good. So we definitely didn't find a key anywhere. Is there anywhere we didn't go? We got that initial key. There is one area over here we didn't go to. I know this is a long episode, but I'm 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 exploring. I'm having a good time. I want to make sure we see all this new content at least as much as we can. Ah, that's just a teleporter. Hmm. So we can't we can't go through to the new area. So it looks like we're just going through to the Forgotten Sepula. Because I don't think we have anywhere else to go. Let's go through, shall we? If, you, if any of you guys know how to make progress through there, then, then please do let me know. Mushroom boy. Let's try him out, shall we? Let's try him out. Uh, let's have a little look-see. So, ugh, bite us crawl from the dead with that guy as well. I kind of like that. I'm going to upgrade this to plus plus quality. Cool. I'm happy with that. Fill our bottle up. And into the forgotten secular we go. This could end up being where we die here. I remember this floor being fairly difficult. And then we've got one more floor after this as well, I'm pretty sure. Follow the light. So basically, we have to like light these. If we don't, then we kind of get fucked up quite easily. Like the longer we go without light, the the worse we get. Ah shit! Wait. So where do we go here? Do we gotta use this. I'm assuming so. Yeah, we do. I got so many spikes. So many spikes. There you go. We're making our way though. Found the shop at least. Can we go anywhere from the shop? I don't think we can. I don't think we can. Uh, shame. Go that way. See what's over here. A bit more gold. Another one of these. Lovely. And through here we go. So there's all, all these little bit different challenge areas we can go to. Let's see what we can find. Got another shop 
Dude, what's with all the shops? We don't want all these shops. So it seems that we've got to go this way and then go up and around. Right, boom, boom. Ah, whoopsie. Missed that guy completely. Go, Mushroom Boy. Wow, he does a lot of damage. If you just explode him, he seems to do a crazy amount, amount of damage. Um, yep, just going to go for more damage. Oh, there's a secret here that I want. Okay, so for this we need Crypt Key. So I think the Crypt Key is um, the requirement for us, like, for this floor. It's just what we need to find this floor, which should be relatively close by, I think. Oh, we've got another recipe there. Another blueprint going on. Death Orb. Oh, is that little boy? I'm like, what the things? What the hell is that thing attacking me? Just that little lad, don't worry. I almost got um, taken out there by the light fucking is over. Come on, little boy. Let's do one. This should be the key now. Yeah. Now I can jump on that. Go through here. Use this here. Up here, and there you go. I think I think this is this floor done. So this floor's pretty short. Come on, my little mushroomy feller. Okay, we got trap. Oh, actually, this this isn't this floor over. Um, I'll try to recycle that. I don't need any any of them. As I said, I've got a build I'm happy with right now. I'm loving him just attacking people for us. It's so funny. This game doesn't really have familiars, so it's nice to see a new one. Take that. More HP. Got to get that healing going. Use his trial. Again, we're looking for another key, I think. We do have both of these. I don't, really don't care about either of them. To be honest, I just want to find himself the end. This episode so long. So, so long. I'm assuming with the new floor, though, that's probably why. Why? <laughs> Did you see him? He said, why? Okay, I need to find the light. There you go. Sometimes it's better to just find the light rather than trying to attack everything. Keep going. There's some light. Our boy's back in town. The boy is back in town. Wow, we poisoned that guy somehow. I don't exactly know what, what we did to poison him there. But we did. Oh, that slowing effect is really nice, actually. I've noticed just how potent the slowing effect really is, but it's, it's crazy good. Need to get to this light. So there's our key that we need to unlock. I know you're gonna chase me, but one hit and you're dead, so there's not much point, is there, dude? I'm not gonna destroy him this time. I've not really been using my fire much, like, at all. There we go. This should be our key. This should be our way out. There you go. Oh, we've got a secret there as well. Could be food. It indeed it is. Very nice. Over here we go. This floor's kind of cool. I like the I like the fast pacedness of it. Very long though. Oh my god, he did so much damage. Okay, so we've got one key. Is this going to be a two-key deal, or is this that next guy? Okay, it's a two-key deal. The hell? New artifacts? Is that one we just didn't have before, or is that a completely new artifact? The Explorer Rune. This permanent rune reveals the whole map and its points of interest once you've explored most of the level. Okay. 
I don't really get what that means. Does that mean like as soon as we've got to like 90% it reveals the last 10% or something? It's kind of what I interpret that as. Kind of cool though. Glad we got it. Wasn't expecting to find anything like that here, but we did. Really don't know where we're going now though. Very confusing. So I guess up here, then we're leaving. Is this it? Hey, it is. We're into the clock room. We're only just into the clock room. What the fuck? This run's going to be so long. What the hell? Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, I am going to leave this run off here because the clock room is, like, still, like, we're still, like, a good half an hour off of finish the, finishing this run, I'm pretty sure. Um... I, I hope I'm right about that, and I hope it's not going to be like we instantly finish this in the next episode. Either way, I hope you guys have enjoyed, and um, I hope you guys like the idea for the series. Please leave comments below and let me know. Also, please do join the Discord if you're not already in there, because you'll be able to vote on when we change out games and which game will be switched and for what. Um, especially, like I said, when new roguelikes come out. So that's going to be a nice little interactive part of this. So please do join there if you haven't already. And you can also leave comments of games that you suggest for the future and things like that as well. Either way, hope you guys have enjoyed this episode and enjoying this new series, and I will see you guys in the next one.